What's up guys, River here, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own Minecraft PvP texture pack or just texture pack in general. Now firstly, all you have to do is actually check out the download in the description, which is a Bedrock Samples pack from the version 1.19.70.2, which is the latest one by the time I'm recording this video, and I think they actually do update the link. So shout out to the person that did this, but yeah, what we want to go and do next is actually go ahead and just double click, open it up, cancel out the WinRAR thing, we don't really need that what we now need to go and do is open up this file over here press on resource pack right over here again guys then what we need to go and do is go down to textures right here so make sure to go ahead and click on that and then items and now that we are actually in the items area we actually have every item in minecraft already in over here with the default edit just to make it easy but say we want to go ahead and edit the sword what we want to go and do next boys is actually go ahead and pull out that file right over there as you guys can see it's now my desktop now what we need to go and do is click on it and then right click and there should actually be an open with menu as well so yeah go open with and then what you guys want to go and do is select paint.net if you don't have it it's actually free download i'm gonna go link that in the description as well along with the download for the bedrock samples pack but yeah we're gonna go and open it with paint.net right now ladies and gentlemen and there we go we've actually now opened i'm just gonna go and zoom in a little bit over here as you guys can see and that is the sword so now we can literally just go ahead and change the edit in over here and just to show you guys that this does go ahead and work we're gonna go ahead and and change it to pink so it's pretty noticeable and then what you can do is mess around with the colors and stuff i'm gonna go and actually select this magic wand tool and just like select the tip of it though guys and we're gonna go and actually change the tip to pink right over here i think that's how it works or maybe i need to go and click the bucket okay there we go okay so now it is pink and now what we need to go and do boys is actually click out of it with this over here and then yeah we actually need to go and save it so let's just do file save and then we need to go ahead and actually press okay and then yeah basically it's done so now if we exit out of there as you guys can see the actual file does actually have a pink tip on the end and now if we go and try to drag it back in we actually do want to go ahead and press okay and it's going to go ahead and actually replace the file guys that was in there before and just so you guys do go and believe me we can actually go and like open it up in over here and as you can see there is actually a pink tip on the end of the sword so now that we're done that let's actually open the zip folder again and then open the bedrock samples pack click x over there and what we want to go and do is actually take out the resource pack so we're going to go and do that right right now guys and boom it's gonna go and transfer over to the desktop then what we need to go ahead and do is actually turn this into a zip file so yeah we're just gonna go and actually right click then press compress to zip it's gonna go ahead and actually compress it all into a zip file which actually will take about a minute or so and now it's actually on our desktop as you ladies and gentlemen can see but we're gonna go ahead and actually change something over here i'm gonna go and actually change the name we're gonna go and actually call this a river pack just for the video over here oh i guess i wasn't typing i guess we gotta go and do that river pack there we go and also so instead of dot zip we want to change that to and actually write dot mc pack enter and then we want to go and press yes and there we go we actually now have our file so now we should be able to go and double click it and open it guys and hopefully this does go and work all right and it looks like it's been successfully imported let's go this took me a couple of tries boys but anyway we're gonna go and now press settings and actually enable the pack in global resources so yeah just press on my packs it's gonna show up right over here we're gonna press activate and that's all we need to go and do it's actually now over here guys ready to go press play and i'm I'm just gonna go ahead and drop into my pvp texture pack review map where i've actually got a diamond sword and a bunch of other diamond gear but remember we actually only changed the sword but yeah you ladies and gentlemen can edit this obviously for any item and make your own texture pack so be sure to go ahead and let me know below what you do go ahead and create and also send me the link to some of the packs that you guys do go ahead and make i want to go and see them but yeah we're now in game over here as you can see and we actually do have the pink tip on the end of our diamond sword so hopefully this tutorial was helpful if it was drop a like and yeah send me the packs you guys do go to make because i do review a lot of texture packs on my channel basically every single day and i'm also giving away a switch so make sure to subscribe to enter for that but i'll catch you bros in my next one peace out everybody